Port Soy on the North Aberdeenshire coast is a town that wears its history on its sleeve. But it also has a very curious fictional history and a vibrant present. Port Soy is a historic borough established by a charter signed by Mary Queen of Scots in 1550. Its famous harbour was built in 1693. It was funded by Sir Patrick Ogilvy and adopted a construction of vertically set stones. Unusual at the time, but evidently a very successful technique. Work on the larger new harbour was completed in 1829, only to be partially destroyed by a storm ten years later. Once rebuilt, you wouldn't have been able to walk around here without tripping over fishermen, gutter lasses and barrels of herring. Up the hill, just off the main street, picturesque Loch Soy was once a reservoir for the mills that flourished here in the 19th century. As well as the export of textiles and herring, the town also became famous for exporting so-called Port Soy marble. Port Soy had a quarry, a marble quarry here, more than 300 years ago, but it's serpentine, so it's Port Soy marble, but serpentine comes in green, comes in red. The green is softer than the red, uh, but harder to cut into and harder to polish. Tom, who had the shop here since 1967, I think, was an amazing man, and he had lots of people carving and cutting. I remember when Eddie Izzard was here um, telling him the story. If you go, if you're lucky enough to get to the Palace of Versailles, there is an amazing fireplace made of port soy marble. He said, how do you know that? And I said, because it's in the history books. Hilarious. <laughs> the fact that Port Soy has a harbour that's barely changed in over 200 years has not gone unnoticed by filming location scouts. Now this little corner of Port Soy will forever be the French outpost of Miquelon off the coast of Newfoundland. We had Peaky Blinders, we've also had Whiskey Glower which has been amazing too. I was very lucky to be part of the Peaky Blinders uh, so I have to be very careful in what I say. Um, location assistant I was given uh, and I can't believe I've never done anything like it in my life but for here we I'm able to tell the story when people come into the shop I can tell them truthfully how it was, um, what it was for them to film and what the end result for us has been. And people have come, um, if only even just to buy a cup. <laughs> how do I look? Okay. Don't mess with Port Soy. <laughs> This striking miniature lighthouse is a work by the artist Rachel Davis, entitled Riding Out the Storm. It's a commentary on mental health and portrays how a guiding light as a source of support is invaluable in overcoming difficulties, from dark feelings of depression through to a beacon of hope. We all need a guiding light at times. I know I certainly have. I think this is just an incredible piece of art. On this trip, me, my wife Serena and my mum Rosemary have been staying at the old merchant's house on the harbour. Built by the merchant David Brebner around 1726, its heyday was under the ownership of his son Alexander, who became rich through both legal and illegal channels. The house was allegedly full of secret tunnels and hiding places for contraband. Underneath the house these days, you'll find the tempting Port House Cafe. Um, so we were a professional yacht crew for, um, well, for myself, 20 odd years. Liz joined me in 2007. Um, we did that for a while and then um, got a little bit bored of uh, the millionaires in the yachting world and thought we'd come and do something for real people, basically, in, uh, in a real town with a, with a community where we can close up shop and go and have a drink with your mates at the end of the day. We wanted a family and we found it in Port Soy. Um, they don't care that I'm American 
and they don't even care that he's from England. I know. Yeah, the, the, boat, the boat world is very much a sort of no, no fixed abode. So every night you're in a different, in a different town. Um, so there's no close circle of friends and we very much wanted to be part of a, a community. We sold up a property out in Colorado, which is where we met. And uh, then we bought uh, a holiday cottage just up the road, which um, we rented for a wee while. And the first visitors here were my stepmom and my dad. And they spotted this and sent us the listings for it. And then we watched it for about two, two, three more years. Concise. Yeah, we watched it for two, three years until it hit a price that we thought, yeah, let's give it a go. Um, and, and that's what we did. We, we were stuck in Turkey on a, on a red light with COVID pandemic. So we either put in an offer or it was going to go. So yeah, we um, sight unseen. We decided to just take a chance. Um, and we took it, but we knew that we weren't taking a chance with Port Soy. We knew that we were going to the right place, but we did take a chance with this little cafe and here we are. And I understand that the community here in Port Soy was a real help in getting the cafe up and running. They were absolutely amazing. And that was partly to do with the local pub, the Shore Inn. Uh, when we went in there and told the locals that this is what we were doing, um, they were actually quite excited that the Harborside Cafe was coming back and people came out of the woodwork saying, can we help you with labor? Can we help you with this? I met a plaster in the pub who refused to charge me for anything. He just said, no, we want to we wanna help this place get back up and ready. And yeah, yeah, all the stainless steel prep services and oven and stuff like that all came from the pub. And you know, it was just that they're not using it. So they just, they, they donated. Yeah. Never been anywhere in the world like that. It's special, it's, it's a special place. It is an amazing little place. Yeah. It gets yeah. hold of you and won't let go. <laughs> <laughs> Port Soy is a living community and people care. I came here 14 years ago and I don't do committees but I do do helping um, and you can very much see why people want to be part of it and yeah it's a lovely place to live and work. <laughs> There aren't many shops in the centre of Port Soy, but it's a question of quality, not quantity. Hello, I'm Pauline and I'm the owner of the Port Soy Gift Box and we have just won the Scottish Independent Retail Awards for 2023 Bespoke Retailer of the Year for Scotland. I have lived in Port Soy for 30 years. I used to come up on holiday as a child because my dad was born here. It plays quite a major part in the community, I think, um, because there aren't a lot of shops in Port Soy. I think we also support the community in a lot of ways as well. A lot of community groups come and ask for like donations towards fundraising things and you know we like to help in that kind of way as well. The shop helped the community during Covid because we did a lot of deliveries um, and a lot of people couldn't move around during Covid. We answered messages on Facebook, we arranged payment, we delivered to doorsteps and things. A lot of the goods in the Portside gift box are made by local makers. These little resin items are made um, by Jo who lives not far from the harbour area and she makes earrings, jewellery, key rings, pictures and her um, inspiration is the coastline. You can see all these lovely colours. Visitors come from all over the world to Port Soy. You'd be amazed at the amount of people that come from across over the globe that know Port Soy because they've seen it on the TV with Whiskey Galore and Peaky Blinders. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of return visitors from abroad as well. Um, they come back to the shop year in, year out, you know, to, just to, to say hello and to visit the area again. They just love it here. I'd like to thank all the customers out there that voted for the shop that um, enabled me to win this award. Without their support, it would never have happened. Tell anyone in the region that you're passing through Port Soy and they'll all tell you to stop for the award-winning homemade ice cream and sorbets. Well, I can think of no better way to finish the trip than with a scoop of Port Soy's famous ice cream. If you've enjoyed the film, then please subscribe and I'll see you in another part of Scotland very soon.